everybody, welcome back to Rival Zone Gaming and welcome back to Battlestar Galactic Deadlock. This is Resurrection Rival here and I have been waiting so long for Season 2 to start and it's finally here. I want to say thank you to Black Labs and Slytherin Games for giving me access to this because they really don't need to and they do. Um, I want to also say thank you to my contact at Slytherin who went above and beyond to get me this this code it was really good of him he didn't have to do it won't mention the name because you know that's not really fair but thank you buddy i really do appreciate it what do you get at bastard galactica deadlock resurrection you get 10 story campaign missions it happens three years after sin and sacrifice the last dlc and things aren't good uh Lachesis made a deal with three quarters of the colonies to leave them alone for one year. And he did. And then once the one year was up, he went to work. The colonies are in disarray. There is resistance. There's rebellions. And Colonial Fleet is nowhere to be seen because Colonial Fleet was disbanded at the end of Sin and Sacrifice. Spoiler alert. Now, Kane's dead. There is no Daedalus, although Technically there is. It's still at Ragnar as far as I know. It appears in the uh, the reimagining of Battlestar Galactica that came out a few years ago. Um, but it's basically not open to us. We can't use it. So how can we be looking at Battlestar Galactica? It was lost, right? Well, there's a lot to be told and it's all best to tell it in the story. So, are you ready? I'm ready. New campaign. Now, everything that has come before is here if you want to use it. So, you've got Sin and Sacrifice. You've got Anabasis. I think I said it right this time. You've got Broken Alliance. You've got the Reinforcement Pack. It's all in here. Uh, there is also a bunch of new updates coming as well. So, we've got the tutorials. This is really good. I like this because there's a new multi select system where you can select multiple fighters, squadrons, that is. Uh, you can select multiple capital ships, you can select just capital ships, you can select just fighters. And it doesn't matter if they're all mingled in, it's really clever the system to come up with. It's brilliant, it really is brilliant. Um, now, I'm, I could take you through and see that, but I'm fairly sure you wanna come and see the game, don't you? You can see the game, you did. You didn't come to see a tutorial, did you? No, you didn't do that, no. So we're gonna go straight to Resurrection. Um, I am thinking about doing a run through the whole story from Deadlock through Broken Alliance, through Sin and Sacrifice, through Resurrection, all the way from beginning to end. If you guys would like to see that, let me know in the comments section or go uh, down to the description where you find a link to my Discord and you can feedback. There's a Battlestar Galactica section right there. You can use it and let me know. If it's something you would like to see, you tell me and I will do it. Okay, so Resurrection. It's been three years since the fall of Daedalus when Galactica was grounded during the bombardment of Cap Caprica City. BSG-75 has been reformed, and the crew of Galactica, headed by Commander Silas Nash, are eager to rejoin the front line in the Cylon War. Let's do this. Ooh. Previous eight games were found. Would you like to import fleets and other information from previous eight games? You know what? We didn't last time. We didn't. We could have done it at the beginning of Sin and Sacrifice. Because you can take through everything you want all the way through. And I think we ended up with quite quite a fleet. I mean, it was all picked off and dis disjointed and everything by the end of Sin and Sacrifice. They really did a good job of completely cutting you to pieces by cutting off travel lanes and things. So it's really good. You know what I'm going to. Okay. Um, let's see what we've got here. Sin and Sacrifice. Mission 10 landing zone. Fine resources were imported. Fleets and officers. Tire and requisition points. Unlocked blueprints. Codex intelligence. So that's all that will be pulled through. That's not too bad. It means you're not getting like lots of stuff but you are allowing to you know, keep your blueprints and your codex intelligence i like that idea so we'll do that we'll import that okay uh going for commander because we always go for commander 
Uh, we will go for persistent damage and crew retinacy because that's just awesome. And we will disable the tutorial. Or should we? This might be your first time. And this might be something you'd, you'd actually like to see how this new systems work. So let's give that a go, actually. Um, other than that, I think we're ready to go. Standard Battlestar Galactica Deadlock Experience for Silent Forces will match you ship for ship. These are good. If you really want a challenge, do the Admiral run. But this is for just gameplay on, on YouTube, so I'm going to go with that. Ooh, probably get a little cutscene now, so I'm going to disappear. Previously on Battlestar Galactica Deadlock. Lachesis is rerouting all of its forces to Helios Alpha. PyCon is already at breaking point, and Geminon was ready to roll over the moment when Nutu signed the treaty. The Cobal Alliance has ratified the ceasefire with Cylon Command. The peoples of Helios Gamma, Delta, and Beta will see no more violence from today. It was not supposed to happen like this. You have to understand, I never intended for them to go this far without you. You should have told me. You've sacrificed one third of the colonies. And for what? It is one year that can be used to negotiate a lasting peace. We tried our best to make colonial fleet work, but you can't be blamed for the weakness of others. We've got problems with our FTL computer. I think the Cylons have got into it somehow and Tech can't flush them out. We can't make the jump. Galactica, repeat. I didn't hear that right. I'm sorry, Lena. You need to go. We'll catch up. Colonial fleet. This is Daedalus Actual. The station has been evacuated, and Daedalus Fleet Group is dismissed. I am stepping down from command. Colonial Fleet is effectively dissolved. Go. Protect your families. Protect our people. You shouldn't die here for my mistakes. Lords of Kobol guide you. There's not much you can do about a knife in the back. Struggle, you make it worse. Leave it, and you'll bleed out. Best case scenario, someone takes the knife out and helps you back up. Except for you're still bleeding. And now you got another son bitch running around with a knife. The ceasefire lasted the full year that Lachis has agreed to. No longer, no less. The exact minute the agreement expired, Cylon fleets attacked the Cobal Alliance colonies. We fought back where we could. Had some hard years grounded before we got Colonial Fleet back in the air. Then we went and retrieved Galactica. Pulled her right out of the water where we left her and spent the last year building her back up. Colonial Fleet is now a branch of the Ministry of Defense, reformed by the people who've been fighting the ground war since Caprica City was first bombarded. Jubal Sarkis leads the Fleet Admiralty, and he's made sure the Quorum knows its place this time around. Without Colonial Fleet, there is no war, no resistance, and no freedom. Galactica has been reinstated to the head of BSG-75, under my command. We are, once again, one of many in the shield against the Cylon. We have a second chance, and bear the full weight of the Twelve Colonies. From today, we do not lose to the Toasters. Are we done? Are we into the game now? That was pretty good. They kind of did a good job of... Okay, this is where you ended. This is what's happening so far. So... Welcome aboard Galactica, Commander. <gasps> Not sure that it lives up to the Daedalus CIC. Comfort wasn't our priority in getting this bird farm back in the air. Take a moment to familiarize yourself. CIC briefing is at the top of the hour. 
Hello, gorgeous. Yeah, this is totally awesome. I'm sorry, but it is. It's basically on the, the set of the TV show. It's awesome. Um, as the Operation Command said uh, of the Battlestar Galactica, you have control of BSG-75 and its auxiliary fleet groups. Okay, so we've got a silent threat. So I'm guessing the more that is up, the more they start attacking. Open the fleet tab in the strategy index. I don't want to. I want to look at stuff. I want to push buttons. If you see a big flashing red button, do not push it. It's a bad thing to happen. Only a limited number of fleets are, will be displayed on the table at any one time. You can toggle a fleet by clicking the colonial seal next to their status. Our new ships can be traded for resources with colonies. Oh. So auxiliary 193. So do that. <gasps> new buttons, we can trade stuff. Ooh. That means a couple of things to me. That means uh, Tylium is going to be a lot harder to come by. Um, we may have to sacrifice ships or fleets of ships to um, the colonies, maybe to defend themselves, for us to actually buy stuff that we need. Our new ships can be traded in resources of the colonies. Okay, standing by. Uh, we will trade. I don't want to trade that. Can I trade that instead? I kind of like the Rainer because I want to rename it, actually. I have a special name in chat. Uh, we'll trade you. Uh, so we can get economic. It's 100 Tylium. Scientific requisition points 200. Or political, it drops the silent threat by 5. Oh, now we're going to have to stop. It's a, a, oh, they're adding a whole new strategy layer to this. Oh, Black Labs, you are evil and wonderful at the same time this is mm, um do i want more time i think we're okay for tiling at the moment i think we'll go for the silent threat let's go for political we've got a lot of rp as well so we'll go for that confirm uh you're gonna make me trade that as well aren't you okay 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 fine uh we don't need the silent threat going down anymore we're, look it's a zero there is no silent threat can i actually move around the whole place No, it, it, it kind of just makes you... <laughs> I just realized I can do all this. Oh, wow. I can go all the way back here. Yes! Ooh, look at that seal. I want to look at that seal. Let me see that seal. Can, can I look up, please? Can I look up? No, no, I can't look up. There you go. Look at that. It's awesome. Oh, my God. This is amazing. Um, You know what? Let's trade the cancer on. Complete resource missions to earn supplies to bring down the Kassan threat threat. Oh, so you do resource missions to bring down the threat, which makes the missions easier. If silent threat grows too high, the colonies will be too endangered to safely continue Galactica's operations. The threat of silent command attacks will increase over time as you complete story missions. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay, I've got this. Um, right, so that's the mission. We've got resource... Colony defense. Okay. Can I build some ships? <gasps> nice. This is very, very nice. Um, what do I build? <laughs> I need to look at my, my my fleets. I need to look at my fleets. I need to know what I've got. Uh, okay, so that's BSG-75. Got the Galactica, the Vilnus, which is a carrier. Uh, Alpi oh, Apis. Kure and Tempest. I made a promise. I made a promise to a particular uh, Twitter follower. Uh, if you follow me on Twitter, you'll know the one I'm talking about. Because... Um, His name, or you can find him at Reckless Terrain. 
he does amazing things with 3D printing and he actually 3D printed an adamant and when I saw it I promised him the first name on uh, any of our adamants so reckless I promised you this there it is buddy the reckless congratulations <laughs> that's awesome I'm loving this I am really really loving this okay so here there's Delta um, what do we, we don't have anything around here we do have this ministry has spotted a Cylon fleet supporting the toasters at this colony if we want to keep the fight going on the ground there we need to bust up this support fleet okay so we can do scouting bits and pieces that cost us Tylium um, Civilian scouts, 30% chance of success, instant. Uh, Raptor scouts, 75% chance of success, it costs one turn. Or a whole recon mission, uh, it's 90% chance of success, it gets two turns. But we get to find out what's there. That's the thing. Silent Fleet has appeared in Aerolon to support the enemy's ground effort. Intercepting this fleet is critical for the defense of ministry troops to stay active in this area. Intel locked. We get 1,000 tiling, 600 requisition points. Silent threat will decrease by 17 upon completion of this mission. So we can keep it low. That would be good. Um, it takes two turns for that. I think probably going to go with Raptor Scouts. We have the Tylium. We can use the Tylium. So that's not a problem. Uh, and we still won't be below our, our, our main thing. Um, so I'm going to do that. Let's do Raptor Scouts. It's going to take one turn. So we'll dismiss that for now. Um... That's strategy. Officers. We've got Silas Nash. We've got no one available to recruit. Okay. Um, where can I jump you? I can't jump you to anywhere else. I have to jump to one of these two. Okay. We're not ready for that yet. I want to build a ship. I want to put something else with this, this fleet. I can go up to eight grand. Silas, how good are you, buddy? Talk to me. You're ranked 10? I high five you, but you know. Damn, you're ranked 10. I'm oh, loving you, man. I am loving you. Uh, okay, so we've got eight grand. Let's have a think about this. We don't have two battle stars. I'd like to have two battle stars. Um, and our fleet. We've got 2,100. Okay, I don't think we can get another Jupiter in there. Just short. We're just short. I don't want to lose any of our smaller ships, though. We could go with a Minerva or an Artemis. Oh, it's the old style Jupiters. We haven't got the Jupiter 2s yet. That kind of sucks. I can't go for a Minerva. We, that's an awful lot of firepower. And if I rush it, it's 1800 It's double the price, but it would mean we'd have it now. So I'm going to do that. All right. Um, no. Oh, you're at the same place. Okay. Um, cancel that. Transfer to there. There we go. It's a little bit different. Just a little bit different. Okay. Uh, while we're here, let's uh, upgrade to Mark, Viper Mark IIs because Viper Mark IIs. Oh, we have Assault Raptors. And he's got extra slot. Oh, oh, yes. And, of course, I've got Manukes and things as well. I do love Manukes. Going to Torpedoes. Uh, you can argue the benefits of Torpedoes and Missiles as much as you like. I used to always fall on the side of Missiles. But I've learned the benefit of having uh, Torpedoes. Yeah, so Rumble Black Mark 2s. Uh, Alpis. Reckless. Reckless, my buddy, my pal. Go for your Black Mark 2s. 
And Tempest is our scout. Awesome. Okay. Uh, let's enter. See what they do. Okay, they've now got this fleet here. We don't know what's there. I'm guessing because we don't know what's going on. Um... Ministry has spotted a Cylon fleet supporting the toasters at this colony. If we want to keep the fight going on the ground there, we need to bust up this support fleet. Enemy fleet, uh, 3,950. And if we defeat them, it drops it by 17, which brings them back down to zero. So we are going to do this now. We are going to do this now. Ministry has spotted a Cylon fleet supporting the toasters Can I do at this colony. Oh, I've got to jump out. If we want to keep the fight yeah, going sorry. on the ground there, we need to bust up this support fleet. Let's go do some. Once we've done this fight, I will uh, take a look at the blueprints. Because you know there's new blueprints. There's always new blueprints. I mean, there's some new Cylon kind of bomber craft, which look really nasty, I have to say. But we're going to have a chance to see this new ship maneuvering thing right oh wow that is uh, quite a fleet you've got there buddy here's the good news I'm gonna stack to kick your butt right let's uh, start with the Galactica we want the Galactica nice and safe but at the same time we want it to kick some butts so we have a chance to drop in behind that's good right you're back there It's not the best thing, but it'll do. Now, there are new mechanics. You can launch all your fighters at once. None of this clicking through and launch all fighters or anything. No, no, no. Select, launch. Prepare it's to jump in brilliant. three, two, one. I've Marks missed that zone. sound. Cylon IFFs across the board. I've missed that sound. Oh, yes, I have. I've missed that sound. It's so amazing. Okay, so this is the new ship com like control thing. It's this thing up here. All you do is you've got three different settings. You've got everything in the fleet. Just capital ships. Just fighters. That simple. But if we do that... Launch all squadrons. It will launch absolutely everything. So if you have something you don't want to launch, maybe not pick that ship. Um, so we'll do that. Launching alert vipers. At least one ship was unable to follow his command. That would be um, our Manticore and our Minotaur. They don't have fighters, so they can't launch them. Um, now, what we can do is move the entire fleet, because they're all highlighted. Do that. <laughs> it's great, isn't it? It's awesome. And they will literally turn within their own confines of what they can do. They will turn. Got it. Um, I would, if you don't want to turn it, you just do that. And if you have any particular ship you don't want in there or you want to pick just certain ships um, let's say we only want to pick the adamant and the minotaur or you just hold down shift there you go now only they are selected simple it's a really little clever little system but it does the job spectacularly well right we'll put the manticore onto that um, you go full attack you go full attack as well you i want you kind of just turning away a bit uh, and drop Got you it. do have guns but i don't want you to use them like that um you slow down you slow down that's not bad we've got pretty much all of our guns opened up i'm liking this um i will have you climb a bit you know what? You just 
to do that. Alright, I think we're ready to rock. That's an awfully large fleet. Early in the game, but yeah, you're expecting Check me to be. Check your solutions before engaging. That's so many clear zone intact. Mm. Priority one is in safe hands. Now you can also still set them as, you know, oh, you're doing this, you're doing that. So, assign group. Now they don't d default to one anymore. You know, you had to, like, they'd always default to uh, Red Squadron. They don't do that anymore. Uh, we'll also put you on Yellow Squadron. Um, and we'll put all of our Assault Raptors on Green Squadron. A lovely, lovely Assault Raptors. With their awesome missiles and rockets and things. Um... You're on attack. Right, so I'm just going to change to that. I'm going to turn everyone on to full attack now. I want maximum range. And then I'm going to turn you off and I'm going to put you back on defense. Because I want that Dreadus range for you. Okay. Um... Vipers. I'm sending the Vipers out to deal with the enemy squadrons. Got it. I can set like all the fighters to do everything, but I don't want to send the raptors to go into dogfights. So select target. Go there. Alright. Enter. I have missed this game so much. I mean it. I really, really have. Alright, so... Is it Blue Squadron's going after the War Driver? That's fine. And they're on their way over there. Excellent. Okay. Yeah, I'm on line ships, that's good. Alright, and I want you to drop down. Keep turning. I'm on it, Commander. I do like this little extra line. It tells you if you're going, you're turning too hard. It's just a little vertical line, but it makes such a difference because now I know if I go that way, I won't be able to do a massive turn next for the next turn because I'll overstretch yes, the engines. Sir. But yes, Commander. I'm happy with that. Hostile unit identified. Incoming. Yep, that was good. That was good. Okay. They're trying to come around the side, trying to flank us. That's all right. We're okay with that because we're going to take you three. And we're going to focus your fire on that one. And we're going to turn you that way. Alright, I want these three. No. Not you. Don't want you. I want you three to keep turning that way. Um, and I want the battle stars. Go flak. Look at the size of that flat cloud. Oh, it's amazing. Vipers, how are we doing? You're attacking that. Cool. You're on that as well. Uh, I'm not entirely sure if I want that. Uh, select target. 
Go after that. Got it. You're attacking admin, I think. What about you guys? You're after the war driver squadron still. Okay, fair enough. Well, we'll take that. Um, you're going after the nemesis, are you guys? Okay, well, let's fire all our lovely missiles. There. Salvo launch ready. You're unable to get target though. You're too far away. Okay, actually then. Um, what about you? Can you get out of range? Okay. Tell you what, we'll hold off on that then. Cancel that. I want to make sure we get a nice solid barrage. I think, other than that, we're good. Get him, get him, get him. Fire munitions at him. That sounds good. Um, go over to that. Cancel target. You're unable to get a target because he's in a dust cloud. Of course he is. Alright. Going after you, are they? Okay, fair enough. Um, how are you doing? You're going after Heavy Raider Squadron. So are you. You guys defend Manticore. So say we all. So say we all. Not using um, torpedoes right now. We won't hit anything. You know it, I know it. Everyone knows it. Okay. Well, that's the last of the heavy radio squadron. So, after that, we can use the Vipers for... The Intercore is taking damage. Oh, that was a lovely flurry of missiles that just hit that. All right, you guys. Oh, you're hurt. You're really hurt. Can I not repair you? Navigation doesn't seem to be damaged. Hmm. Select target. Fire munitions. Launchers are reloading. Okay. Actually, let's go for everything. There. Thank you. And I want you all to go... Turn into it. You guys go back to that. Vipers, how are you doing, boys? Okay, you're after that. So are you. Tell me what that is, please. Go. Ooh, they're getting some good damage in there. Nice. Hostile unit identified. IFFs have come back hostile. All right, you lot. Vipers, you are Vipers. Okay, you're actually defending that. Okay. Um, you, fire munitions right there. Um, I've changed my mind with you three. Cancel target. There's your target. You guys, focus there as well. Vipers. You're actually doing a really good job on that, so we'll just leave you alone. I think you've been getting some help with the battle stars, so that's fine. 
And you guys are defending the Manticore, correct? Oh no, you're targeting the Nemesis. Defend that Manticore. Thank you. Okay, I think... I think we're not doing too bad here, people. Come on, come on, come on. That's it, AQ. Missiles incoming. Manticore is taking damage. Manticore should be okay. There you go. Navigation is damaged. Okay, we're going to put you on defense so you take less damage because we don't want you to keep taking damage. Focus your fire there. Um, you come underneath. You raise up a bit. Yes, sir. I want to clear that. Assault Raptors, talk to me. How's he doing? He's dying. All right, you guys keep on it. You're doing well. Uh, you've got a bit of damage on your rear armor, but that's fine. You turn to help. Focus there. Yeah, help him out. And we're going to launch torpedoes now. Got it. That's an awful lot of torpedoes coming your way. Alright, you're actually repairing, but that's fine. We'll fire them there. Alright, let's do it. Reloading. Alert squadron 42 by 73 for flash projection. Firing on target. It was a long shot at best, anyway. All right, you turn away and drop. You come round. You come yes, round. Command. Focus there. Focus there. Raptors. You've got still got some punch left in you, so paint target. Ah, there's nothing in range. Okay. Uh, move to there. So say we all. Uh, can't shoot your flak as well. You're not going to need it anymore. Just thump that thing with all it's worth. Two battle stars taking on Talon. Should be okay. Go. Switching gun to manual. Subsystem is back online. Keep your target locked and watch for clearance. Alright, you just keep rolling out. Uh, Raptors. Paint target? No one in range. Okay, keep rolling them. Just keep rolling. You go that way. Focus your fire. No. Yes. Alright. Okay. Adjusting shot by point one six. Fire. I don't think I'm actually gonna need the battle cells. Paint target. Alright, uh, you. You're actually dying pretty handily, so... Vipers. You're already over there. They're not going to be firing any missiles anymore, so we'll send you over there to help out with that. Raptors, you can finish with that. That got a little messy. Time to clean up and go home. Doing a great job. And that's only got five health left. <laughs> Raptors, recall. Recalling squadron.
Got them now. Yep, it's gone. All right, we took a bit of damage on the, the Tempest. Reckless had a great showing. Is clear. All hostile marks are dark. All right, ranked up. Nice, well done. Okay. Survive mission and damage the enemy. That's always good. Confirm kill. You actually only get one XP for a confirm kill. That kind of sucks. Uh, the Galactica. Didn't do much, but, you know. That's pretty cool. Now, all these ships can be renamed, okay? So, there is a Discord channel on my server uh, where you can put names down. It will be first come, first served. There's already some names on there. I will be using them first. But as we go through, you know, you can put anything you want in there. Um, as long as it's clean, I'll, I'll probably use it at some point. Um, but, you know, like YouTube screen name or Discord name or if you have particular name that has a meaning to you you can put it in there and I'll, I'll probably get through to it now a lot of people have said in previous playthroughs that they like the replay so here we go checking Bit solutions slow. before engaging escort clear zone intact priority one is in safe hands bit of a slow start it's all about figuring out which ships work well together which is going to be fun. I have salt raptors. I'm actually pretty impressed by that. Normally my manticles don't last that long. In fact, normally my manticles don't survive the mission. Freaking awesome. When we took out that last talent just with Viper Squadrons. That's how powerful Vipers can be in this game. It's also why they put the Saros in it. <laughs> the sound effects were a little loud there. I might have to turn that down a little bit. Okay. Um, plus the amount of three. Okay. Silent threat level zero. And we have another. Resource mission, field promotion. Ministry has decided it's time for this colony ship to join the big leagues. Unfortunately, the Cylons don't agree, and they've ambushed the ship on its way to reassignment. We need to intercept and protect Colonial Fleet's newest asset. Colonial Fleet has transferred a new crew out of orbital duties over Canceron. Cylons have intercepted the ship while mustering out, intend to destroy it before it can be reassigned. Okay, so we get 800 Tylium, 150 requisition points, 400 officer XP, one Minotaur gunship. Silent Threat will decrease by 25 upon completion of this mission. And of course we can recon so we can figure out what, exactly what it is we're going up against. When well, we did Raptor last time and it actually told us what size fleet we were going up against. I may, I'm assuming like recon will kind of give us maybe a fleet composition. Yeah. 
Yeah, maybe. I don't know. That could be cool. Anyway, um, so this is strategy. What do we got down here? That's the. We've got resource mission, field promotion, and second blooding. Cool. Uh, strategy is that, and blueprints. Okay, let's take a look at what we can get. Minotaur. Oh, Manticore, sorry. Uh, Berserk Carrier. That's so freaking cool. I never looked at these in the last playthrough. But, you know, I really need to. Um, Adamant, obviously. Celestra. We got the Ranger. We've got the Minotaur. The Yanus. Is locked. I must have not unlocked it in the previous playthrough. Atlas and the Heracles. Now we've got the Artemis, Minerva, Jupiter, and that's the Jupiter Mark II. 4,000. <clears throat> Jupiter Mark II is a refit and redesign the legendary Battlestar class. The first of the original Jupiter's Galactica was grounded during the bombardment of Capri uh, Caprica City. The damage sustained during the emergency jump was repaired, including improvements to the hull and armaments array. Okay, so advantage, damage reduction, firewall regen, penalty none. Point defense, battlestar artillery, top, front, and bottom. Munitions reload for uh, three turns. <laughs> Two thousand seven hundred fleet points. It's a lot bigger fleet point wise than the Jupiter One. It costs more as well. Maybe I missed it. Oh. Okay. Uh Due to the clandestine nature of the refit project, coupled with the lack of resourcing for the project, the design of the Jupiter Mark II carries a number of flaws from its predecessor, including limited networks between subsystems and restricted thrust-to-mass ratio. I don't know what that means. And I don't know what that is, but that's a squadron. Now, I know that we do get a new squadron thing. I think it'll probably be something along the lines of a bombing unit. But that's the Jupiter 2. Now, uh, the Jupiter 1. Um, now, the difference between the two, I believe, is just simply the Jupiter 2 has only two struts as opposed to three holding the pods on, um, and it has slightly less weaponry. But there you go. I think we might want to just pick up the Jupiter 2 straight away. I mean, it does come with an additional Raptor Squadron, which is freaking awesome. Um, guided missiles, proximity mine, torpedoes, debris, PCM, munition, EMP, armor piercer, nuke, and the EMP mine, Mark 1, Raptors Squadron, Mark 2, Sweeper, Raptor Assault Squadron, and then that new thing. Wow. Okay, we're on the codex. This is the Nemesis. It's not the most dangerous little thing, but they are fast and they can hurt you quite badly. That's Hydra support. Uh, the Gorgon, this is their fighter support, basically. I don't know how you get intelligence on them, though. We've destroyed so many revenants. Uh, Arachne. Oh, we've destroyed more Arachne than Revenant. You surprise me. Um, and we've got the Phobos. These things are nasty, though. These things are nasty. They have this micro warp ability that just kind of jump in really close and then just launch missiles. So you can set up this great defense and they'll jump in behind it. It's... Use it effectively and it's just nasty. Uh, and the Cerberus, which is just basically a massive raider carrier. Then you've got your base star, your Argos, which is, well, basically like a Cerberus, only 
with missile launchers. They have so much more than this. That's kind of shuttle, transport, and a freighter. You guys want to see these things, and you just let me know in the comment section. I will quite happily go through them. Um, but that is where we're going to call it for today. I know you probably want me to do mission one, but I wanted to kind of show off the new stuff in this. Um, and I still haven't clicked home. Oh, it's just that. It just puts us there. Which is probably them saying, here, have a look at this beautiful CIC we've created for you. It is awesome. It is awesome. Hats off to Black Labs. I am impressed. Very impressed. <sighs> but anyway, thank you very much for joining me. If you like this video, please do hit that like button. Don't forget to comment and share. If you're new to the channel and you want to see more like this, well, I've got loads of series of Battlestar Galactica on the channel. Um, and they're all still there, waiting to be watched. You kind of see how I graduate from kind of good at it to eh, not too bad and then going up and everything but yeah it's it's a m massive game if you're new to the series seriously give it a try it's a great story and it's just getting better and better as they go along <sighs> it's back season two is here yes until next time you lot take care of yourselves i'll see you there bye bye